Hello everyone, this is Hello one two three four five, and uh, today I want to be showing you how to make a little login with a data set. So let me just uh, get the uh, GUI ready and uh, I'll see you guys then. Alright, I'm done. This is the little GUI I created. You know, you just simple username, password and all that stuff. So let's get started with adding a data set because we know we're going to make a login with a data set. Um, Basically, if you want to add a data set, uh, you just right click your login, you know, your project, <clears throat> and then you click add new item. And then, if you scroll down a little bit to the D, you will find the data set. And you can call this whatever you want. I will call this users just for simpleness of it. Now, uh, if you, you, you just opened an XSD uh, screen here, um, all you have to do is drag a data table in there. And we call this one. Uh, login users. Now we're gonna add a simple column with the username, and we're gonna add a column password. That is all you have to do in this um, uh, screen. Uh, just save it. Um, now let's get into the code, shall we? Um, before we can begin with a data set, you always have to fill an, X, uh, an XML file because a data set works with XML files. So basically the simpleness of it is mm, it's, pretty, it's not that hard. But let's just declare the data set first, uh, which is there. Just like you declare a new form, we're going to declare a new data set. Um, now basically, uh, we're, we're now we're, we also have to declare a data table because we're gonna work some stuff in the data table. So data table, uh, uh, dt table equals new. Oh wait, no, 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 that's not good. Uh, ds users dot tables. Let me just check that for a second. Yes, okay. There, and all you have to do then is declare a new data row. Data row. Rows. And then that will be um, uh, that new row. There. Basically, what we say here is we declare a row which, um, which equals to a new row in the data table. So this is just we're just filling up one little thing of the data table there. So DRO dot uh, DRO and then we use that. Now as you can see it works a little bit like an array, but this time we're gonna put in string instead of an int. So it, it already tells you that it will require a data uh, a data column. Uh, a column is based on username or password in this case. So well, well we're we're gonna add a new username and we're, we're gonna call him, uh, let's say, administrator. Why not? Um, then, she's asking for a data column again. And then, password. Uh, the password will be. Um, Welcome 2012 with a capital W. Um, and that's basically almost all you have to do. Only now, what we have to do is we're going to have to say um, dt table dot um, rows dot add, and then all we have to tell him that we want to add the data row that we just created. And then all we have to do is the data table has to write it away in an XML file. Uh, well, let's create that file right now, or at least the location of the file will be saved in this string XML location. Mm, let's say slash slash XML user on XML. Um, it's going to give you a very weird error unrecognized escape sequence. Now, all you have to do is put an at in front of it. Just like in an email. There, like that. Um, now all we have to say is we have to tell the table to write the XML. Um, XML location. There. 
simple and clean. We only have to run this once. Oh, what did I do? Yeah, there we go. Had to tap the F5 pretty good there. Okay, um, this is done. Just select it and then above here it will say comment out the selected lines. There. And that's all we have to do in that part. So right now we have to make a, f I'm gonna make a little for loop that will make sure am I int I I slow than equals no no then I think lower than will do the job. Um And then I plus plus. There. Oh. I'm a scientist. Huh? There we go. So this four will basically go through. Um, we'll go through our data table and it will check uh, all the users if that will, if if they are equal to the one that. Uh, the user inserted. So to do that, I'm gonna make this a little bit, the code a little bit cleaner and easier to understand. Um, if no, wait, no, no, let's first do this. Um, username equals and the user dot tables. rows and that one will equal i because we want the row of our index and then we can just do it again and it will say which well which column do you want to check oh there we go um no we want to check the username in this case hey it's not a string well that will make it a string and we basically do the exact same for the password. X hat and this one will become password, of course. Now the if will be made simple and clean. Um, because right now all I have to do is uh, access our text box here. And then we, we get the operator and then the two ends um, basically what it says right here then it, if the username the, the, the text box txt user dot text equals the username that we got from the data table and the password and if the password is also um, is equal to the password of the data table. It will do this. If only the username is uh, is a true, but the password is not a true, it will not execute the script. Um, so right now, um, to not make a person spammed, we're going to make a little boolean login success, and we're going to make them that equal false. Well, when it's done here. Login success. There. And then out of the four, we can put the final if that will check if the login was successful, yes or no. And then all you have to do is show a message box. Show login successful. Something like that. I don't know how to spell it correctly, but. That's okay, you guys know what I mean with this. Um, and otherwise... Uh, login... Field. Exclamation mark. There. But now you think like, okay, so this is all it is. But it, that's not true. 
Um, if you're paying attention, the XML location is not being used, but that's not what we want. We want the um, data table to read that XML file we created. And I can, how oh, about I locate that XML file for you guys? Uh, documents, that one, projects, uh, let me this at tutorial. Um, debug. Oh, that's not good. I did not execute this one correctly. That's weird. Oh, I think I know why. Um, in the uh, XML location, add application dot startup path, and then put a plus there. Just add that to your um, beginning, and it will create that XML file. That's why it didn't work. Um, let's see. We commented in again because I made a mistake. You have to uncomment that before you uh, uh, before you run it. Um, now we can leave it commented forever. Uh, maybe we might need it later, but right now we don't need it. So right now, it will read the XML once I click login. But if I say like test and test, it will say your login field. But if I say administrator and Welcome 2012. It will say login successful, and in that login successful piece, you can put a, like an opening of another form or something, or an execution of a script that you might want. So this is how you protect your, um, um, you know, your stuff with a password and a username uh, in a database using a data set. Uh, now, XML is really handy. You can you, you can even use it over the internet. You can also just change this into like HTTP uh, your site com slash my XML not XML, and it will use that as your XML location. Now, I don't know how this, but this will do with writing. But I know that the reading part will, of it will be successful. And, and that is why XML is such a good thing to use. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and hope you guys learned from it. Um, by the way, um, I'm now part of a clan called uh, The Great Army. Uh, the shortcut of it is TGA. Uh, we are in cooperation with TDS and we have a YouTube channel. Uh, just check it out. I'll put the link uh, somewhere in the screen. And uh, just check that out. And uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it and this tutorial. Uh, later, we'll, I'll do another tutorial. Um, using um, a binding navigation navigator um, so yeah hopefully, hopefully you guys are looking forward to that and uh, please subscribe comment and rate and I will see you guys in the next